Welcome to Math Defined. I'm Mrs. C, and in this video, I'm going to show you the top three worst mistakes that students make when simplifying expressions using the distributive property. Mistake number one, forgetting to distribute the factor to every term in the parentheses. For example, let's look at this expression of four times the quantity of 5y squared plus 2 being added to 7. One mistake that students make is to only distribute the factor of 4 to the 5y squared to get 20y squared, and then just bringing down the next two terms in the expression. By doing this, the next step would be to combine the like terms of positive 2 and positive 7 to get positive 9. Then when you bring down the 20y squared, you have the expression 20y squared plus 9, which is not correct. Mistake number two, distributing the factor to every term in the expression. Let's look at the same expression again. This time, the one mistake that students make is to distribute the factor of 4 to every term in the expression. Doing this will give you 20y squared plus 8 plus 28. Next, you would combine the like terms of positive 8 and positive 28 to get positive 36. Then when you bring down the 20y squared, your expression would be 20y squared plus 36, which is also not correct. If you're liking this video content so far, please do give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button so that you'll get notified when I publish new videos. Mistake number three. Combining the like terms in the expression before distributing the factor to the terms in the parentheses only. Here the one mistake is combining the like terms of positive 2 and positive 7, which will give you positive 9. Then they bring down the rest of the expression. Next they distribute the factor of 4 to 5y squared to get 20y squared, and then distribute the 4 to positive 9 to get positive 36. Now the expression reads as 20y squared plus 36, which is once again not correct. So how do you use the distributive property to simplify expressions? Well, the first step is to distribute, then combine all the like terms, and then simplify. So our first step will be to distribute the factor of 4 to both 5y squared and positive 2. Doing this will give us 20y squared plus positive 8. We drop the parentheses because we have completed the distributive property by multiplying the factor of 4 to each term inside the parentheses only. Next, we will bring down the positive 7. Now we will combine the like terms of positive 8 and positive 7. This will give us positive 15. Then we will bring down the 20y squared and our simplified expression will be 20y squared plus 15, and that is correct. Let's try a more challenging expression next. This expression is a little more challenging because the first step here will be using the distributive property, which is in the middle of the expression instead of at the beginning. Although we will still need to follow these steps listed above in order to simplify this expression. So the first step is to use the distributive property by distributing the factor of negative 2 to all three terms in the parentheses only. When we distribute the negative 2 to 3y cubed, we get negative 6y cubed, because negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6, and we bring down the y cubed. Next, we will distribute the negative 2 to negative 7x to get positive 14x, because again, Negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14, and we bring down the x. Then we will distribute the negative 2 to the last term in our parentheses, which is positive 4, to get negative 8. We can't forget to bring down that first term of positive 10x. We also drop the parentheses because we have completed the distributive property. The next step is to identify the like terms so that we can combine them. The first term of positive 10x has a like term of positive 14x. We just need to add them together to get 24x. Since there are no other like terms left in this expression, we will just bring down the negative 6y cubed and the negative 8. 
So we have the simplified expression of 24x minus 6y cubed minus 8. However, some teachers can be pretty picky about writing your expressions using the correct order, which we do not have here. So we will fix this by switching the order of negative 6y cubed and 24x. Negative 6y cubed needs to be the first term because the variable y has an exponent of 3. And 24x needs to follow negative 6y cubed because its variable of x does not have an exponent at all. And constants like negative 8 always go last. I hope you found this video to be helpful. You can check out more of my math videos at Math Defined, your number one place to learn math. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.